No matter what country, no matter what culture, it seems most teenage girls have one thing in common. She feels shy all the time and she feels insecure. But in the Philippines, she's a little bit afraid. For a 13-year-old girl named Mucha, every time she's outside the house, people is watching her. Shyness and insecurity go skin deep. This thing was so huge. It was impairing everything in her life. Since age three, Mucha Duran has suffered from gigantism. It's a rare deformity, medically known as macrodactyly. Essentially, her foot never stopped growing. Mucha says there's not much pain, but it does ache sometimes. And the skin breaks down as she drags her foot along the ground. Because it, because it is heavy. Mucha's family even traveled to Manila to meet with an orthopedic specialist. He recommended a full amputation below the knee. Is to amputate this one. Amputate the whole Yes, thing. yes. Fortunately, the International Surgical Missions team included a hand specialist from Guam. Absolutely, this does not require an amputation. It just means to reduce size. Dr. Jerome Landstrom says it's best to save as much of the leg as possible. Besides, Mucha's family could barely afford crutches, let alone a prosthetic leg. Well, she's got some tough skin down there. Instead of a full amputation, he removed her toes and extra soft tissue and bone. The foot is so heavy that her le left leg muscles have become enlarged to take this extra weight. It's like walking around with a, an extra 10 pounds on your foot. The entire team was mesmerized by Mucha, even veteran surgeons. She's just a beautiful, beautiful little girl. After nearly three hours of surgery, Dr. Landstrom pulled the final stitch. Buddy says her foot might need more surgery because it could grow back. It might need to be reduced again, but I, I'm not sure, depending on how much tissue contraction she has. Mucha was carted off to a recovery room with her foot wrapped in a makeshift cast using duct tape. Mucha? The next day, Mucha Hello. had a visitor. Uh, it's real big still, but it's going to get small quick. Deidre Kibbe is a nurse from Colorado Springs. She's also the mother of a 14-year-old girl. She had beautiful skin, beautiful eyes, um, but she had to live with this deformity. Deidre felt a strong connection to Mucha, and after a long 24 hours of fear and pain, Mucha <laughs> finally got a first glimpse at her new foot. Okay, sweetie, that's your foot. Doesn't look that bad. It's a moment Deidre Kibbe will remember forever. It was awesome to know that I made a difference in some other mother's daughter's life. After the surgery, Mucha's father could not stop smiling. I'm very happy that uh, Doc Jerome arrived here in the Philippines. I'm very, thank you. Dr. Landstrom told him Mucha will have to relearn how to walk and balance. Six to eight weeks for the swelling, six months or so before everything stabilizes out, okay? He says eventually she might be able to run and pursue her interest in track and field. I can run very fast. When the swelling goes down, she'll even be able to wear the same pair of shoes. I will become happy because my, my foot will become smaller. And for once, Deidre Kibbe hopes Mucha can start worrying about more important teenage things like clothes and boys. Mucha was adorable, a typical teenager. Mike Kinnean, Fox 21 News.